In this problem, we're given several matrices and we have to find the transpose of each matrix. Let's just go ahead and go through it. So here we have A, so now we're gonna find the transpose, which I'll denote by A to, A to the T like this. And basically you just take each row and turn it into a column. So here we have the first row, one, negative two, three. So you turn that into a column. So one, negative two, three. Then you take the second row and turn that into a column. So seven, eight, negative nine. That's it. Let's do this one, B transpose. So again, we take each row and turn it into a column. So take the first row, one, two, three, and it becomes the first column, one, two, three. Take the second row, two, four, five. It becomes the second column, two, four, five. Take the third row, three, five, six. It becomes the third column, three, five, six. So now uh, let's go ahead and do C. So this one has simply one row, so it will turn into one column. So this is one, negative three, five, negative seven. Right, so it was only one row. Notice that these are the same, right? Really, really interesting. Whenever this happens, um, we say the matrix is symmetric. So kind of an interesting phenomenon. And the last, oh, this is a T, whoops. And the last one, DT. So take the first row, turn it into a column. Take the second row, turn it into a column. Take the third row, it's just one number, turn it into a column. A little bit weird there, right? Because there's only one entry in each row. And then so basically each entry is going to turn into a column. So it's just one entry in each column. Kind of a, a fun problem. Hopefully uh, this video has been helpful. Good luck.